Hi ladies, my name is Danielle Downing Hadley. I'm here to share a wild woman worship moment with you. Um, it's springtime and in the springtime I plan my garden and while I was selecting seeds this week, um, the Lord showed me a few things about um, how we are as people. And the first thing I noticed is a seed is very small, it's tiny, um, it starts out not looking like or feeling like um, the flower it's going to become. And so with that, the Lord reminded me that a lot of us have the same potential as a very small seed. Um, looking at us, you might not know what we will become what we will look like in the future and sometimes when we look at ourselves we get discouraged because we're not what we think we should be we're not where we think we should be and so i just want to encourage you to not despise the day of small beginnings don't look at who you are right now and be discouraged because god knows exactly what he has in store for you which brings me to my second point about seeds and how they grow when you select a seed, whether it's a perennial or biannual um, or a bulb, when you select it, you have to know what kind of soil it will best be grown in. And so me making the mistake of uh, not knowing that have, have ruined very many seeds. So I've learned that you have to discover the potential not only in the seed, but also of your garden. Um, there are some seeds that need very rough or dry soil, sandy soil, things like cactuses do well in harsh climates and harsh environments, whereas there are some tender plants that need a lot of care, nurture, fertilizer, the perfect spot in the garden. You can't mess with them or move them around. Um, some of us are like that, and God is the only one who knows what kind of soil we need, what kind of um, environment is going to enhance our beauty and help us to grow. Sometimes our environment doesn't match what we think it should. It, we, it, our surroundings don't look like what we think that we need, but the Bible says that God alone knows the thoughts that he has towards you and those thoughts are good thoughts to bring you to a, a bright future and a hope and so i want to encourage you ladies when um, what you see with your eyes doesn't match the vision you feel you have in your heart to consult with god and ask him what's going on why is it happening if it's something that you need to get out of or something that you need to shift or change ask god for the strategy because again he knows um, the plans he has for you and how to get there. He knows the perfect soil um, that you are to be grown in. Brings me to my third point, my third point, um, which is you have to, in a garden, watch what's growing. What else is growing around the plants that you're trying to cultivate? And, and in essence, a garden um, inadvertently has weeds and so I would encourage you ladies to examine the landscape of your life and really um, try to figure out what are the weeds in your garden sometimes that's low self-esteem sometimes that's insecurity sometimes that are people places and things that are taking you outside of the realm God has called you to I want to encourage you ladies that um, there is a method in which you can grow and develop, um, but you have to watch your surroundings because outside influences often can derail us from the plans and purpose that God has in our lives. So you got to watch your garden and if there's anything, whether it's internal or external, that is derailing you, seek after the Lord that he can direct you an alternate way or remove those things from your garden, your weeds from your garden and that brings me to my last point that there is so much beauty and potential in each of us god designed it that way he's crafted it that way the bible says you are god's masterpiece and so i just want to encourage you ladies no do not stop um pursuing god do not stop walking with god do not be discouraged at what you see or don't see why you're walking with him because 
if you continue to follow the path that the Lord has for you, you will have a bright future and you will have hope. So no matter what it looks like or feels like, God is able to bring you to a good and expected end. Ladies, um, know that I love you. Know that God loves you. Keep on pressing forward um, and have a good night.